Hi, Randy Fairfield here, Mr. Ed Tech, and today I got a great question from Tom Shelton on Twitter about Edmodo and Google integration. He was wondering how to go about creating an assignment somewhere in his Google Drive and then having each one of his students get their own copy of that assignment to turn in on Edmodo. And so I'm going to go ahead and create the screencast here to show you just how to do that, Tom. So let's say, Tom, this uh, Google Doc is the assignment that you want to have your students have their own copy of and turn in and this is some kind of template maybe uh, you want them to fill out uh, if you go to the top right up here where it says file and make a copy that will make a copy for each student now if you set this as a shareable link here and post this link up to your assignment on your Edmodo class wall. So here's your assignment. I don't know, you title your assignment whatever you want. And have these directions here for the students where they just, uh, where it says file, make a copy. I'd probably suggest showing them that in class so that they know what to do. And they go through, uh, they'll be able to make their own copy of this assignment. It's also important that the copy of this assignment that they're making that you are able to at least view or comment or edit on that assignment. And so one suggestion that I have is at the very beginning of the school year, have each of your students create a folder in their Google Drive and set that folder so that you can edit or view or comment on it. I would just have the students set it so that you, the teacher could edit everything that goes in that folder. So when they make a copy of the Google Doc, it's gonna go into their main drive. You need to show them how to move that assignment uh, into the folder that you have for your class. So that's one way to go about it. There's a neat little hack that I'm gonna show you here as well, and that's this. If you take the link and uh, paste it up here and take the last words out and write the word copy in, and then I'm gonna do Control A, Control C to select all and then copy. And I'll take this link and post it up on my Edmodo assignment instead. Why would I do that? Well, it's a neat little hack. It's going to allow the kids to bypass that file, make a copy uh, process. And if I push enter right now and go to this link, look what happens. It asks me if I would like to make a copy of this assignment. So if I posted this link on the wall and the kids clicked on the link, it's going to prompt them to do the same thing. Now again, you need to have them make sure that this copy of the assignment that they're getting is something that you can view, comment, or edit on. So again, showing them to move that into that folder that they have for your class will be important. Um, if you've also shown them how to link up their Google Drive with their student backpack, um, that, that's the top video. If you look at the Edmodo topic that I've got going here with uh, Google Drive integration, this very top video shows how to get that uh, Google Drive integration happening for the students with their backpack and for teachers with their library. So that way you don't ever have to have those issues of, oh, the student forgot to share the file with me so I can't take a look. So I hope that helps, and if you didn't, please feel free to continue to follow up uh, with another question. I'd be glad to make another screencast uh, to clarify things for you. Again, I'd encourage you to all follow along on Edmodo in this topic that I've got going for Edmodo and Google integration. Uh, we've got 771 followers here, which is great, and I'm really looking forward to posting uh, more and more videos to answer questions just like the one that you asked Tom. And I'm really looking forward to also hearing from a number of you out there about some ideas that you have for Edmodo and Google integration and what you're doing in your classroom. All right, have a great day.